Testing works. Good afternoon. Today we're talking about bringing Linux to modern Intel-based Macs with T2 chips. Uh, good afternoon, I'm Aditya, and at T2 Linux I currently maintain Ubuntu, the kernel, as well as the ISOs. I'm Mark, I manage T2 Linux community. I'm Uihan, I maintain Arch Linux, Endeavor, OS, kernel support, and distribution support. So, what exactly is the T2 security chip? T2 is a specialized security-focused system on chip for Intel Macs. Key functions are managing some USB devices, like keyboard, trackpad, touch bar, and the camera. Controls audio, such as speakers and the microphone. Manages NVMe SSD, houses secure enclave for encryption, and handles video encoding and decoding. Yeah. Now Linux comes into the scene. Yeah. The main obstacle is that no T2 driver will exist in the mainline Linux kernel, which means no basic input device support like trackpad, keyboard, and touch bar necessary for ESE key for some Macs and function roles. And so it was, but there was someone called Pavel Pawlowski who breaks through everything and first achieved NVMe SSD support, which it landed on Linux 5.4, and developed a critical Apple BCE driver with three components, which is not still on Linux maintain, Linux mainline, is still out of tree, is not even on staging, is too experimental even right now. It's, there are three components. First, BCE, which, which manages basic T2 communication, so, we can talk to T2 chip and get the result back. And second, VHCI, which manages internal device support like keyboard, trackpad, touch bar, etc. And thirdly, audio support, so you can use your speaker, earphone jack, and mic. Oh, yes. So if you talk about the progress of our project, so thanks to all the community-led efforts, we established the T2 Linux project. And currently, we have managed to make the internal hard drive, the, the SSD working. We have basic hybrid graphics support. And the keyboard and trackpad works perfectly now. And the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth are also good uh, and we'd like to thank Asahi Linux as well for this because they helped us to develop the drivers for them and the FaceTime HD camera which is basically the webcam on the MacBooks and the touch bar also are like just awesome currently but although some features above still may have some minor bugs but overall the project is quite usable now. So looking ahead, uh, our key goals now are to implement T2 SCP support, so maybe we could get fingerprint reader working at some point, and fixing, suspending, and resuming, which was broken recently by macOS Sonoma update. And there is challenge to find more kernel developers and hardware experts to help us to reverse engineer uh, upstream drivers and to write the Linux counterparts. Current situation, we are uh, now maintaining spin up versions of major Linux distributions, including but not limited to Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Fedora, Arch Linux, Endeavor OS, and Nix OS. Also, also, there is support for Cache OS, which is maintained by Cache OS team. There is also official upstream support in Blend OS too, but the Blend OS support is currently postponed because of my personal schedule. So keep in mind that. So uh, from, from the project, I would like to request help from all the kernel developers who are quite experienced in the Linux kernel across the globe, since we are facing shortage of them. 
And we also wish to uh, raise awareness about our project to the general public, because uh, not many people even today are not aware that this project even exists. And we'd also like to thank Canonical for providing the platform to us. If you want to see a demo of running Ubuntu on D2 based Intel MacBook Pro, then you can check out in our Linux on Apple hardware boot. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, we are happy to answer them. Also, check out our website. You can scan our QR code. Any questions? Not anyone? I suppose not. Thank you.